Hello viewers, this is Dikshit Kumar. You can see the details of bushed bearing. Now we have done this three part separately that is block, bush and shaft and we have saved it. Now it's time to assemble all these three part. So let us begin. Go to solid edge. There you have to select assembly. Go to named views and set as ISO. By default that folder has come here that is under parts library. So this is nothing but the edge bar. Now I will show how to pull down. So you have to click here over here. Go to the drive where you have saved. So I have saved here assembly boost bearing. So these are the three parts. Now I will click and drag the block first. I will drag here. Next and I will click and drag the bush over here. Now to assemble the bush into the block. I will use this relationship type. In that you have to select axial align. Just click there. You have to select the inner cylinder or just any cylinder of the bush. You have to just click on the cylinder of the bush and you have to click on the cylinder of the block like this. Now the block and bush are assembled. Now you have to click and drag the shaft like this. Again go to relationship type. There you have to select axial align. You have to select the cylinder of shaft and you have to select the cylinder of bush. Now once again you have to go to relationship type. There you have to select mate. I will select the end face of the shaft. You can see a face here. Likewise there is a other face on the opposite side of the shaft. You have to select that face. Just click there and you have to mate with the front plane like this. Now this face it is exactly mating with the front plane. Now you have to adjust this length that is you have to assemble it properly for that you have to click here that is you have to click on select tool now in the edge bar you have to go to the assembly pathfinder there you have to select shaft so you can see the distance as 0 0 here that is the mating distance now I will change this so we know that the length of the shaft is 150 mm. So it is actually 150 by 2. But I will add a negative sign over here. That is minus 150 divided by 2. Just press enter. You can see it is assembled properly. So that's it. The, we have completed the boost bearing assembly set as ISO and you have to save this so I will save in the same folder that is assembly boost bearing so I will save as boost bearing assembly just click on save that's it thank you for watching